Hi folks, Six Slices here. I did a recent channel update video and I said that QSP had contacted me back at the beginning of the year and offered to send me a couple of knives for a review. And this is the first of them. This is the one that I really kind of wanted to review. Um, it's unfortunate that obviously it arrived. Well, they offered it just before I had my fall, which was the 10th of February and uh, didn't arrive till uh, after I'd had my fall. And uh, so it's been sitting here waiting for me um, f since since then. And we're now on the uh, uh, 19th of May. So it's obviously it's been a little while. It's a bit late. And my apologies to QSP because, you know, obviously they sent it to me to review, not to have it sit on my desk for um, several months. But anyway, here we are, and um, I, I kind of like these boxes. The penguin that I reviewed before came in a very similar box. You know, they're not too um, over the top, but they're quite nice. And it's got the description of the knife here, so it tells you it's a hedgehog in 12C28N blade. Uh, golden carbon fibre handle. So it's um, a posh version which is quite nice. I'll see that in a second. So this is, um, it comes with it inside, of course, the box. You've got a little sticker. This is, have a knife day, a little penguin. Um, it's like a, oh, it's got a QSP hat on. That's what it is. Um, better knife, better life. And the uh, um, QSPknife.com website on there. And it also comes with a wee uh, birthday card of um, now, you know, for the production knife, this is perhaps a little bit less important, but it's still quite useful. And from a review point of view, it's quite useful as I as an aid memoir, some of the things that I'm going to tell you about the knife, about its size and so forth. Um, as I say, it does its 14 C 28 N steel, which is, I think, quite a good steel. Um, Certainly for a knife at this sort of price level, I think it's very good. Um, we're um, a 2.875 inch blade, 73 millimeters, which is over, that's an overall length, not just cutting edge. So it being a slip joint uh, would be legal to carry in the UK without having to give a special reason, um, providing you follow all the other rules, and there are plenty of them, um, which I'm not going to go into here. Uh, I can't guarantee that this is UK legal either. It's just my interpretation would say I would be happy to carry this in my pocket without any worries about uh, the legality of it, as long as I wasn't in a place where you couldn't have such a knife. It does say handle options, my carter and carbon fibre. Now, <clears throat> I expected they would send me the my carter one. I'm actually very pleased to see that they sent me this uh, golden carbon fibre. So I'm not always a big fan of carbon fiber and some like the uh, jack wolf lanny's clip or benny's clip that i reviewed had a really quite gaudy bright carbon fiber on it and um, i thought that was maybe a little over the top i think this is sufficiently um, cheery and also sufficiently um, subdued to actually be um, really nice, actually. So, let me just put that out of the way. Sorry, as you see, my hands are considerably worse than they were pre fall. Um, I did quite a bit of damage, more than I thought at the time, actually. And it's, um, it's a bit of a concern. But there we are. We are where we are. So, as I say, this, um, it's golden carbon fibre, uh, so it's sort of layered carbon fibre in black and gold, and uh, I think it looks really quite nice actually. Um, I want to be careful. I, I, you know, I was sent this knife; it was free, um, so I don't want to turn in, you know, turn into one of these sycophants that says this is the best thing since sliced bread. Um, but I do actually quite like it. I also noticed that, you know, the fit and finish on this is a production knife. And okay, it's 
I don't know what it's made by. I would assume it's made in China. Uh, but, you know, given that, look at the, the fit and finish on the back. It's just, it's just really good. Um, now, of course, this is a, um, a slip joint, so it doesn't have a pocket clip. And I quite like that. I like those without pocket clips. Um, pocket clips are fine in their place. But uh, a knife that can just slip into your pocket uh, is is absolutely fine by me, and there's no nothing to then stick into your um, uh, your um, hand when you're using the knife. Now, in terms of uh, opening, we've got um, you know it could be a nail nick, it could be a fuller, and it's on both sides, which is really nice. As other than the fact that you've got the QSP badge on one side. And just the the um, screw on the other side. It's it's a sort of pretty much fully ambidextrous. Now I can't. I just um, we'll see how we go with the opening. I'd like to do it on camera if I can, but my hands really are much um, much worse, particularly my right one. So I don't know. Yep. Yeah, even with my dodgy hands, it can be opened. Now it has a half stop. It's a good solid positive half stop actually. I'll just get that into that hand. There we are. So it's got this sort of, I mean, I suppose it's, it's a, a classic sheep's foot blade in some respects. Um, I think that's what I would call it. You could call it a razor um, blade shape, and in some ways that might be might be more appropriate, particularly as this has this lovely hollow grind to it, which um, makes it um, particularly uh, thin behind the edge, and makes it into almost a almost a razor. It's but as I say, it does have this this lovely hollow grain to it. It's really, really nice. Sort of satin finish. Rather nicer satin finish than the than the, the Jack Wolves ones. I, I really don't like the, the finish on those. This is much more um, even and neat. Um, and of course, being a QSP knife, it's extremely sharp out of the box. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely razor sharp. I gave one of these to, not one of these, a QSP knife to my son-in-law and the first thing he did with it was cut his finger, his thumb open really quite badly. Luckily my daughter, his his wife is a nurse, so she was able to bandage it all up for him, but uh, that, um, you know, I like to see that level of sharpness out of the box. It seems to me the most, what well, probably the most important thing a pocket knife should do is, is to be able to cut things. And a decent geometry and a decent edge are two of the things that uh, uh, determine that. Talking of edge, the, the edge on this is is good. It's not a hundred percent even all the way along its length, but it's it's certainly sharp. It certainly cuts. And given that this is a sub hundred pounds knife, um, I think that's uh, you know it's, it's good enough to be acceptable at that price level. Um, I think if this was a sort of three hundred pound knife, I think I would perhaps have more issue with it. But um, at certainly at this price level, I think it's great. A little bit of a, a sort of rounding here at the heel of the knife, but there's also a very nice um, sharpening choil, which comes. It doesn't come out quite as far as it should, because the plunge line here is comes out slightly wider than the beginning of the uh, choil, but it's, 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 it's pretty good. I mean, I, I'm struggling to find things to, to really criticize on this blade, uh, but the, perhaps this end of the edge and that sharpening choil are areas that could be slightly improved. I think if the sharpening choil was brought out just another one to two millimeters, and it wouldn't even need any more than that, I think, you then get just past, or just to the edge of the uh, 
the plunge line here and uh, then it would be <laughs> I'd be struggling to find anything to criticize at all as I say it's got the QSP logo on there and on the other side of the blade the only um, writing is see my hands are worse I can't even pick the blooming thing up now is this is the um, 14C 2810 I don't know if that's at all in focus. If it's not, it says 14C 2810. Um, but as I say, I think this is a, a nice knife. Now, some people might look at that and think that looks kind of aggressive. I take the view that it's a non-pointy blade. You know, not that I would advocate you ever try stabbing anyone, but if you did try to stab somebody with this, I think you'd find it quite hard. Um, but when you want to cut things, it'd be perfect. So um, I think this is a, a, a very nice knife. It's it, the, That blade stock is pretty solid, but with the hollow ground, it does come down to a great cutting geometry. And it works well. I think that handle in uh, golden carbon fiber is really quite beautiful. I quite like the Mancata version as well, actually, but um, I've only seen that sort of in video and uh, and in catalogue and so on, um, websites. But this in, in, in that and in person does look really quite nice. Um, I haven't tried to take it to bits. I don't know quite how straightforward that would be and wouldn't be. Um, modern slip joints can be hard to put back together. I know to my cost, um, trying to put together knives when um, my hands were a little bit better uh, I think I would be reluctant to try with this, although it does look fairly straightforward in that you've, to, the, you've the, the tail screw here, this is the sort of pivot for the spring, and obviously this is the pivot for the blade. I assume that there's some kind of washer in here on the basis that when you look at the back here, the fit and finish is good, uh, but you see between the liners and the blade just to tip the there's a tiny little gap on either side now given that there's no blade play i'm suggesting that that's because there are washers inside there which is um a very good and solid thing we also have in the back about about there i'll pick it up yeah, hopefully you can see that there's a stop pin and you've also got the Further back here, this is the pin where the um, pivot for the back spring is, and you can't see any of the back, the tail screw, so that's quite nice. Um, the area where one might expect problems would be if that blade were to hit that um, pivot there, but with that nice clear stop pin, uh, that shouldn't happen. And I just close this up. It's a stop pin, absolutely solid, and it's not touching this screw here. So you're not gonna get blade wrap or anything like that with it. Um, oh, the other thing I probably should point out is the handle here, you've got a kind of a faux bolster with two lines. Um, and then this handle is sculpted one, it's, it's crowned, in other words, it's curved when you look at it sort of in, in profile, but it's also got these sort of wavy uh, sort of cutouts all the way along it. Don't know how much of that comes over in the video, but it gives it a nice little bit of grip. And I think just having that kind of faux bolster look just gives it uh, an extra air of quality. There's also room for a lanyard on there. I quite like lanyards, particularly if I'm putting a knife in a slip, which I often do. Um, I've got my slips here, actually. Um, but uh, I quite often use a slip that has a, a knife, a, a torch, and a Fisher Space Pen. And sometimes this, uh, it can be quite difficult to get the knife out of the slip. But if you've got a lanyard on it, you can just whip it out without any problem. So... <clears throat> I think that's given this knife a good review. 
I think overall it's a it's a really nice option for a UK friendly um, you can never guarantee things are absolutely legal but but uh, I, I would be confident to carry this in the UK and even with my extremely bad fingers it's relatively easy to open but it still has a very solid um, clunk into place you know I'm sure those of you with proper working hands could push that close with your thumb but I'm really actually quite struggling to get it to move um, so I think that's you know, it's a good solid lock up uh, which is important on a slip joint because you've no lock to protect you you only have your skill with a knife and uh, the strength of that spring they're the only two things between you and cutting your fingers um, but if you grew up with a slip joint as I did I don't think um, it's really much of an issue and with the sheep's foot blade you're never going to be stabbing anything um, and you're always going to be cutting in an action which is going to be pressing onto the blade and you know not going to unlock it it's pushing it back into the opened position with any cut that you're likely to do right so i will leave that at that thank you again to, for, to qsp for sending me uh this gorgeous little knife i have one more from them which will come up shortly but i think i'll it won't be the next video because i think it'd be quite nice to mix things up a little bit and uh, you know uh, keep you all interested so if you want to see it, the other one and some of the other knives that are coming up in the meantime then please um remember to subscribe and uh, it would help me very much if you took the like button as well okay thank you very much folks bye